The new house. Daddy Pig is working hard in his workroom. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, 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 no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah. And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Pepper has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are. But, Daddy, there's nothing here. That's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger, digger. <laughs> here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or sticks? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Pepper. We won't. <laughs> Can I help? <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <laughs> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? Yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr. Bull. Bye bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down, and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. It's finished! <laughs> Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. Mr Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Pepper. We've got new neighbours. <coughs> Mr Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look. Little piggies. Hello, I'm Wendy Wolf. I'm Peppa Pig. Thank you for building our house, Mr Pig. What's it made of? Straw? Sticks? It's made of bricks. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Hmm, that is strong. What's your own house made of, Mr Pig? Bricks. So don't even think about it. Oh, a swing. That was my idea. It's very good. You have a go. Can you push me? No. I'll huff and puff you instead. <laughs> the Aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Dinner time, Goldie. Oh, Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. 
Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie a friend. I'm sure we will, Pepper. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? Ho, ho, ho! Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no. It's too big. Dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. <laughs> It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> <laughs> hello, Miss Rabbit! That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody. My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. <laughs> Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> Garden games. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and George are in the garden. Daddy, we're a bit bored. But there's lots to do in the garden. Like what? Uh, sit in a garden chair, read the paper and watch the grass grow. But those are things for a daddy to do. Hello. Hello, Susie. What are you doing? Nothing. We're bored. Me too. That's why I came to your house. <sighs> <sighs> I've got an idea. We've an old box of garden games somewhere. What are garden games? I don't know. Here we are. <laughs> Juggling sticks. Watch me juggle. 
Oh, oh, oh. They're not for juggling, Susie. They're skittles. We set the skittles up here. Then we have to stand over here and try and knock the skittles over by rolling this heavy ball. Me first! <laughs> Hooray! Pepper has knocked over two skittles. My turn. It's very hard, Susie. You probably won't be able to do it. Susie has knocked over all the skittles. Hooray! Oh, well done. Now it's George's turn. Because George is little, he can stand a bit closer. Oh. George is too little to play Skittles. George doesn't like being the littlest one. <laughs> hmm. Let's play bat and ball. Pepper can throw the ball and George has to bat it. <laughs> but if anyone catches the ball, George is out. OK. <laughs> George is out. <laughs> George is a bit too little even for bat and ball. You just need a bit more practice, George. Watch me. Wow! <laughs> Oops. I'll just get the ball back. Hello, Mummy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? Yes, but please play more carefully in future. Yes, Mummy Pig. Sorry, Mummy Pig. Here is Danny Dog. What are you doing? We're playing bat and ball. My daddy is very good at it. He batted the ball all the way into the house. Wow. Can I play bat and ball too? Uh, maybe it's time for a different garden game. Like what? Limbo. What's limbo when it's at home? I'll show you. I know. You jump over it. It's much too high to jump over. Ho, ho. We go under the limbo pole and we need music to do it. <laughs> Daddy Pig is very good at limbo. Wow! Ah, but now we'll put the pole a bit lower. <laughs> OK. Oh. Daddy, your tummy is too big to go under the pole. My tummy is not too big. I just can't bend like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. And me. And me. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Now we'll put the pole even lower. Ooh! Easy, Daddy. <laughs> it's impossible. Nobody can go under that. <laughs> <laughs> wow! George can do it. Hooray! George is the best at limbo dancing because he is George likes playing garden games. Everyone likes playing garden games. Kylie Kangaroo. It is a lovely sunny day. Mr and Mrs Kangaroo have come to visit. Hello. G'day, Mr Pig. We met at the airport, remember? Um... It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <laughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <laughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First we have to...
to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow! Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca. But that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. <laughs> Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. <laughs> Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! Me! Mmm, yummy! Peppa likes corn on the cob. <laughs> everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> The sand pit. Pepper and her friends are playing in the sand pit. <laughs> this sand pit is our desert island. <laughs> we will live here forever. <laughs> if we're going to live here forever, I want it to be nice. It just needs some houses. And roads. And shops. Dinosaur. <laughs> yes, George. <laughs> The desert island can have dinosaurs too. What are you doing? We're making a desert island. It's got houses and roads and shops. Has it got trees? No. It would be nicer if it had trees. Where are we going to get trees from? We have to drive big trucks around the world and look for trees. Dinosaurs? You look after the island while we go and look for some trees. Brum, brum, brum. Pepper, Susie, Danny and Emily are pretending to drive around the world looking for trees. <laughs> Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Have you got any spare trees? Uh. We need trees for our desert island. Oh, I see. How many trees would you like? Enough to make a forest. There you go. Thank you. Vroom, vroom, vroom. The dinosaurs are having fun jumping up and down on the desert <laughs> island. The dinosaurs have broken everything. Naughty dinosaurs. Now we'll have to make it all again. Meow. What are you making? This is our desert island. With roads and houses. And shops. And trees. There. We will live here forever. Again! It would be really good if we had a lake. 
Yes, a lake. <coughs> One lake. But it needs water to be a proper lake. Oh, where are we going to get water from? We must fly around the world in aeroplanes. <coughs> Pepper and her friends are pretending to fly around the world looking for water. Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses and roads, shops, trees and a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water? Yes. Hmm, I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van, if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Now our desert island is perfect. We will live here forever. Again! <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. <laughs> We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew! Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide. 
That is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Granny Rabbit. We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. The dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. It's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Me. Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp, stomp, roar. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper's Circus It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. What's that? Grandpa Pig is putting up a big stripy tent in his garden. It's the circus! Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa, can we see the circus? Circus, Pepper? There's no circus here. What a big stripy tent, then. This is for Granny Pig's garden party. Oh, what's a garden party? It's where grown-ups stand around talking. What a waste of a good tent. A circus would be more exciting. Why don't you make your own circus? Yes, <coughs> we can call it Pepper's Circus. Have you finished putting up the tent, Grandpa? The guests will be here soon. Granny, we're doing a circus for your garden party. What a splendid idea. Can we dress up? <laughs> of course. I'll get the dressing up box. We can be clowns. And strongmen. And jugglers. My daddy was in the circus. <laughs> wow, what did he do? He sold tickets. Here, you can all find something to wear in the dressing up box. <laughs> Pepper has found a top hat. <laughs> Danny Dog has found some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. <laughs> Pedro has found a clown outfit. Who wants makeup? Me, please. What does everyone want to be? <laughs> I want to be the clown. But, Peppa, where is your clown costume? OK, you be the clown. I want to be the strong man. OK, Danny, you be the strong man. I want to be the juggler. But I wanted to do that. Wow! OK, you be the juggler. Grandpa, <coughs> I don't have a job to do. You can be the ringmaster, Pepper. You've got the hat for it. What's a ringmaster? The ringmaster is the boss. Yes, I'll be the ringmaster. <sniffs> what do I do? You say, welcome to my circus. See the impossible, the amazing, the incredible feats of daring do. Ooh. Uh, welcome to my circus. It's got amazing feats. <laughs> 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 mm. 
Moo! Granny Pig's garden party guests are here. Hello, everyone. You're in for a treat. The circus has come to town. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my circus. Now, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund on Tricycle! <laughs> Don't stop clapping. It's the strong Danny dog. <laughs> I was a strong man once. I used to lift tractors. <sighs> See, Emily Elephant juggle potatoes and an egg. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Now laugh a lot at Pedro Pony. He's a clown. <laughs> Stop laughing. I haven't done the funny bit yet. Ah. Ah, that was the funny bit. <laughs> That's what I call funny. Thank you. That is the end of my amazingly impossible circus. Hooray! That is the best circus I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Mirrors. Mummy Pig is fixing a big mirror onto the bathroom wall. Lovely. <laughs> George thinks there is another little piggy in the bathroom. It's a mirror, George. Mirrors are shiny. That's why you can see yourself. <laughs> George, what are you doing? George is looking at himself in the big shiny mirror. <coughs> it is very shiny. <coughs> Come on, George, let's find some more shiny things. <laughs> Daddy, <coughs> we're looking for shiny things to see ourselves in. Have a look in a spoon. Ooh. Pepper and George can see their faces in the shiny spoons. <laughs> Our faces look funny. Now, turn the spoon around. I'm upside down. And turn it round again. Now I'm the right way up. How does that work, Daddy? It's simple, Pepper. Concave surfaces reflect light waves inversely to their origin. And Is it magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Susie. Look at that. <laughs> it's a spoon. It's a shiny spoon. Look, I can make you go upside down. <laughs> Ooh, how does that work? It's magic. My daddy says so. Ah, let's find some more magic shiny things in the garden. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. Ooh, it's shiny enough to see our faces. I can see the sky. There's a cloud. <laughs> Here are Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Did you drop something in that puddle? No, we're looking at the sky. But the sky is in the sky. Look at this spoon. That's my face. It looks funny. Whoa! Now I'm upside down. How does that work? It's a funny magic mirror spoon. <laughs> I know where there are some big funny mirrors. Really? Wobbly mirrors in a tent. Where are these wobbly mirrors? At the fair. The parents have brought the children to the fair. Roll up, roll up. See my amazing wobbly mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> the tent is full of big wobbly mirrors. Ooh, what's happened to my body? <laughs> <laughs> You're a wobbly jelly! <laughs> <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble! <laughs> How does it do that, Daddy? It's very simple. Illusions of optical differentials by convex and concave surfaces generate patterns... So it's magic? Uh, yes, it's magic. 
Look at me! <laughs> I've gone all squishy! <laughs> I've got a long neck, like a giraffe! <laughs> this mirror looks normal to me. Daddy, where's your big tummy gone? What tummy? <laughs> <laughs> it is Mummy Rabbit with her baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, sister. How are you today? Very good, sister. Mustn't chat for long, though. I've got customers inside the tent. Aren't the mirrors amazing, Daddy Pig? Wow! I can see two of you. What do you mean? I can see you in the mirror, but there's no mirror. Is it magic? Silly, Daddy. It's Miss Rabbit and Mummy Rabbit. Oh! I suppose we do look a bit the same. Well, we, we are, are sisters. sisters. <laughs> <laughs>